Hey, Ben Baxter here in the Angler's All Fly Tying Studio. Once again, we're going to be tying up the Clear Wing Trico Spinner for you today. So we're starting with a uh, TMC size 18 uh, 100 hook. Uh, also starting with a, um, a Uni ADOT in black. Get our thread started right about two thirds of the hook shank. Just real nice tight wraps. You really want this body to stay very slender. So next I'm gonna use these are mayfly tails. Kind of look like bristles from a brush. So I'm taking three of each on either side. So I'm gonna tie in using the pinch wrap. And then I can kind of slide those onto the side that I want them. directing those. You can kind of bend them a little bit once you get them tied in so they'll kind of flare out. We're going to take three on the other side. Same thing with the pinch wrap. I'm doing one, I, I really loosen up the thread when I do this until I get it tight in. So I'm doing a wrap to the inside. So I'm actually bringing my thread on the inside of those tails. Kind of hard to to show you that and do it at the same time. But that helps flare those tails out. Again, going forward, real nice, tight, touching wraps here. And I'm wrapping those forward before I trim them just to keep that body nice and even. Doing a couple wraps back just to cover some of that up. Nice and splayed out tails there. And don't pinch too hard otherwise you'll curl those those um, micro fibbits or mayfly tails. Uh, next we're going to tie in a little piece of, I'm using one millimeter just because we're on an 18 and it fits a little better, but if you're tying something smaller than that, uh, you would definitely um, want to use some razor foam. So what I did, you can, hopefully you can see that, I actually trimmed a wedge into that foam so when I tie it in it doesn't bulk up too much. And then I want to bite just a smidge into the thicker part of that foam um, just to make it a little more stable in there. Next, we're using some Swiss straw for the wing. And you can trim this thinner than that if you'd like. I just like having a little more wing to it. And it's gonna pinch down once you tie it in anyways, so. Doing a cross 
missing wrap here. I'm going to trim this too, but you can see as you as you do a couple wraps, it kind of thins out that wing. It's like having a little more material there for it. So. A couple more crossing wraps here. Um, next is some super fine dubbing. So I'm taking just a tiny little bit of dubbing here not much at all you're really just wanting to coat that thread just a tiny bit don't want to bulk this up much at all I'm not pulling super tight that way my wings keep their shape And kind of help guide them that way too. I'm finishing front and I'm pulling my foam forward. And biting down on that. Get quite a few good wraps in there. We want some nice fine tipped scissors here for this part. Make sure you do a couple really good wraps up there at the head before you trim this out because it's easy for it to want to pop back on you. finish do two wraps with that three three rotations each trim our thread out and I'm going to just trim these wings up a little bit Personally, don't think the wings have to be perfect on these guys, but uh, if, if you're that particular about your flies, then you can absolutely make them that way. Just kind of trying to give them a little bit of shape here. The nice part of having a rotary function is you can flip that fly completely around and get different angles at it. I guess I am being a little particular about it, but that's all right. And there you are. There is your Trico Spinner. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, smash that notification button, and keep an eye out for the next time video.